hey guys welcome back on my channel it's a very cold day it's Saturday but you're probably watching this video on Sunday or Saturday night depending on when I edited and uploaded I was going to film a tour of my beauty cabinet because one of you guys requested it and then I got super lazy but also I need to kind of clean my house so I'm just folding things I have all these sweaters and stuff because it just suddenly got cold so we had summer 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 and then we dipped into autumn for some reason but anyway because I need to clean my house I also want to do my empties I was contemplating the waiting for a couple more months and then doing my autumn empties and then I realized I have just too much stuff and I just want to start recycling it again just because I don't have that much space in my place so let's get started First thing I'm going to show you is this Wilco Muscle Bath Soak. It was a very inexpensive um, uh, bubble bath. I think I paid a couple pounds for it. It was blue, it was cheap, it wasn't very luxurious. So I eventually just ended up using it to finish it, but I would not repurchase it. Uh, it just feels very chemical to me and um, didn't really enjoy using that. So I'm not even going to bother describing it. Then I have this Sure Motion Sense Invisible ba Antibacterial Deodorant. You guys know I'm very big on deodorants and uh, I keep exploring them. I always have something like 8 or 9 deodorants that I'm experimenting with. I really like this one. I thought that it was very effective. I used it and I would go to the gym and still like be feel fresh. My only concern is obviously that it's a spray so I'm still trying to find something that is not in a spray formula. But honestly, this is one of the best things I have uh, tried so far. A kinky coily not today conditioner. Uh, I always have one of these in my uh, in my empties because that's what I use to detangle my hair whenever I feel like it. Um, yeah, I don't use it as much for a wash and go just because I feel like I do less wash and goes and also because now that it's getting colder I feel it's not moisturizing enough for my wash and goes so I'm using another product that I'm going to show you right after this one It is the Moroccan oil hydrating styling cream. This is in their hydration line and the reason I bought this is um Last time that I got my hair cut at Errol Douglas, um, they used uh, some products to style my hair afterwards. And I really loved the smell of it and I loved how it made my, my hair feel. So I eventually ended up buying them from the salon as I was uh, paying for my hair cut. Absolutely love it. This is a cream that uh, is not very heavy. I feel like the moment you put it in your hair, you feel that the texture is changing just because your hair drinks it up. So while I wouldn't use it to detangle my hair, I feel like once your hair is at a decent level of untangling, it's quite nice to, to, to put on. I have obviously finished this one and I immediately went on and bought another one. So I have another one right now in my bathroom that is sitting there. Then I wanted to show you this. So I have these Vite Precision Wax Strips. Um, I always had a problem with my um, upper lip. So I don't really have very dark um, hair, but it's just that peach fuzz that I really don't like because I feel that when I apply my makeup, I always reach a point here where I feel like the powder is just sitting on top of the peach fuzz. So I usually try to wax it, although it doesn't really show. So aesthetically, you wouldn't see a difference so it's not lighter than when I don't wax it but when it comes to makeup application I feel like the skin looks smoother and has less texture I used it up I'm very slow at using this I don't do it every month I do it maybe every two months and I don't use the towelettes that come with it so I do have all the towelettes left in here so yeah I'm tossing this I have finished travel size, Listerine Total Care. You will see that I have quite a few travel size items, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but I have really started using travel size items just because I have been traveling less. And I decided I want to use these things before they expire. I finished La Roche-Posay Antelios XL. This is a 50 plus um, uh, sunscreen. Now, I didn't really, I wasn't very diligent using sunscreen, but then when I went to get a facial, my facialist told me off for not wearing sunscreen. So I ended up uh, reaching up to this. Uh, I already had it from before, and so I just finished it. And right now I'm using another one. Then this Kiehl's face, face cream, it's called the Ultra Facial Cream absolutely loved it. I had this sample when I went to a Lululemon event and uh, I had it in my gym bag but I decided to start using it because I haven't been going to the gym lately. It feels very bouncy on the skin. I love how it feels. I love how plump my skin feels and it just 
I don't know, it, may, it might be just an impression, but it feels like it doesn't have a lot of things in it. It just feels like just a lot of water and glycerin and it just plumps your skin. It doesn't have too many claims, so I really like it. Very moisturizing. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it and I kind of considered buying a full size of it. Another moisturizer I have finished is the one you had seen in my uh, nighttime routine which is the Aesop in Two Minds Facial Hydrator. I really liked it. It was very light for uh, the summer period where my skin tends to be, because my skin is the combination dehydrated, but it tends to be a little bit more oily around here. Um, I feel now that we're going towards colder weather. I just need something a little bit more moisturizing. So I have finished it right in time for me to start uh, using additional creams that are a bit more heavy. I might even start using oils, depending on how cold it gets in here. This is a, a cream that I had, it's high moisturizing cream. I had bought it from Muji quite some time ago, but because I had it for a long time, I just didn't want to use it anymore. I think I've had it for over a year and it's halfway done. But um, I, I wasn't comfortable finishing it. And also I remember when I had it, it was very cocoony but it might have been a bit too heavy for me. In my entryway, I always have this um, reed diffuser. So I have finished it. I no longer have any reed diffusers. So instead, I'm going to be burning either incense or benjoin or something like that. I finished Dove Invisible Dry um, uh, deodorant. Uh, it's quite good, actually. I'm not going to show you because it's gross. But I, I think it's quite good. Uh, but I'm still looking for my holy grail. I still haven't found my holy grail. So uh, still experimenting with lots of different deodorants. Uh, I'm tossing the voicemail mask. Um, I haven't finished it. I was halfway done through it. It's from Neod. Uh, not my favorite. It smells like honey. Um, I preferred, much, much, much preferred the Flavanon mud that I had. So this one, mm, not so much of a, of a, of a love uh, mask. Uh, it expires after six months because it's non-sterile so um, I, I wasn't comfortable using it in my in my face because I've had it for so long so I just decided to let go of it this aqua nature pore management blackhead melting gel is something that I just don't enjoy using I tried using it and I felt like it was impossible to remove it leaves a very thick film on my skin that even with a cloth and very hot water I couldn't get out and also it expired so I just decided to toss it um, I think all these blackhead melting things don't really work for me so I will just continue doing whatever I do for my skincare and it should be enough still on expired skincare this is a moist up hyaluronic ampoule that expired too uh, I know it sound, it looks like I'm wasting some products but actually it's because I brought everything that I had when I was in Belgium with me here and um, it recently after my sister moved out, I started reorganizing my apartment and it's almost like I am rediscovering my apartment. I'm, I'm rearranging a lot of things and that's how I became a bit more ruthless about assessing what I have because before I just wanted everything to fit and now I'm just thinking, am I going to use it or not? Is it expired? Is it still serving its purpose? Um, this is a Demamiel, uh, it's, it, they have a botanic line. Uh, they do things like, um, that are all plant-based. So this is an Anchor Sleep Series. It's meant to be a balm to help you sleep. I had a very, very rough patch with insomnia last year, and so I bought it. I feel, I haven't finished it, but I feel like it didn't do anything. Um, I have an oil from them, which is meant to be a, a reviving oil, the kind of thing that you, it's, you smell it as an essential oil, and it just helps you beat you know altitude or if you think you're coming with a cold or if you are in public transportation you have a an unpleasant smell or something like that i really like that one this was a waste of money it was 40 pounds uh definitely not worth it i would definitely recommend the altitude oil but this thing no don't even go near it i don't know even why it had so, such positive reviews online i was extremely disappointed um third deodorant i told you guys i'm, I'm obsessed with deodorants uh, this is lemon and coriander by Nils yard remedies um it doesn't really work well i have a second bottle of it which is what i'm using right now um i think it's okay but it's not the most potent it's not i just feel like you'd need to touch up with something like that that's my phone 
uh, it's fine. You need to touch up when you have something like that, and it's not very practical to touch up when you are out and about, especially for me, I'm always on client side. I have a tea. This is Moroccan Mint by Fortnum and Mason. I have finally, finally found um, a tea that I really enjoy, so I'm going to buy the full box of it. Typically, whenever I go and try a new tea, I'm, because I'm very picky, I, I prefer to just buy a small sachet, and then I try it, and if I really like it, then I will buy the big box, and then I continue to refill. Um, but I really like the mint tea. I have this Talica Bubble Mask Bio Detox. It's one of those charcoal masks, Again, because I'm going through my bathroom, I'm just using up the things that I have. And um, I used it, but I've never really liked these charcoal masks. I do have quite a few of these, but I get them in boxes, like look fantastic and things like that. But I would never go and buy one myself. I don't think so. Um, this Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pad. It's um, I think I have a couple more, but it's completely dried up. Um, I have some pads from Dr. Uh, Lenz, his brand name is Zelens, but I still think I don't want to start using any acids on my face. I'm going to wait really until winter and then I'm going to do that just because I don't want to shock my skin. We're barely out of summer. And I'm tossing this Nivea, Nivea Original Care. I had bought it because um, I, I think I, I was somewhere, my lips were super dry, I had absolutely nothing. And so I bought it. I tried to make it work and then I realized that just my taste in um, or my criteria for a lip balm are much, much higher than just a Nivea. So I ended up tossing it because I just couldn't make it work. My favorite thing is this. It's Cordelie Soin de Lèvres, which I have. I have this one here on my makeup station. I have one in my bag. I have one in my gym bag. Absolutely love it. The best. Simply the best. Everything else that remains is makeup. So first thing is this nail polish by Color Show. I loved it, loved it, loved it. I've had it for years. It's a bright yellow. I think if I finish five or six nail polishes, I might go and buy a yellow polish. But for now, I'm just, I mean, this is completely dried out. So it's gone. The color name was Electric Yellow. Then for a period of time, I was using mixing this Bare Minerals Bare Skin and this Clarins BB Perfecting uh, Cream to make my foundation. This is not mine. My sister bought it and uh, she had the wrong shade and it was very, very dark. It's called Bare Almond and uh, 16. Uh, so she gave it to me and I really hated it. Uh, so I tried to make it work with this and then I realized that the combination was too much. This is too greasy for me. I didn't like how it looked. I used the combination of the two for a month and then one day I just decided it's too much work for something that looks below average on my face. So I decided to give up. Then I finished a mascara by Essence. This is the same one that I had in my previous video, which is the Super Curl one. It dries out pretty fast, so uh, I still have one more in backup, but I think even that one is already dried up, so I might need to just toss it, but we'll see. Um, and then I have this Cream Sheen Glass by MAC, which I've had for quite a few years. And since then, it was back when I was still experimenting with makeup and MAC, etc. And then I realized that I'm really, really not... Um, a lip gloss girl. I hate lip gloss. Hate is a strong word so I know why I'm using it still because I can't stand the stickiness. Even the look I just feel like ugh. This one is in overindulgence. It's it's an amazing color but I just can't do lip glasses. I hate them. Next product is also from MAC and this is an eyebrow color. Uh, it's called Lip Strut. I remember I had bought it also quite a few years ago, but it's very red for me and I couldn't make it work for something else. So at some point I thought I would use it to do freckles. Nah, on my eyebrows it just looks too red. So after trying for a bit, I just decided it's not worth me trying to make it work as an eyeliner because it's too dry. So I decided to uh, recycle it. So these two things are going to back to MAC. And then I'm... Um, uh, tossing this NYX Full Coverage Concealer. Uh, I have used it halfway. I don't like the texture. At first it was too greasy, then it became too dry, then it was a bit too orange, not very blendable. I have replaced it by repurchasing my Bobbi Brown Corrector. So you guys remember a few months ago I had finished my Bobbi Brown Corrector 
and I had um, started using that instead but I realized why change something that works so I ended up by repurchasing the Bobbi Brown collection and I'm very happy with it and the last item that I have finished which also is going to go for back to MAC is this MAC mineralized foundation loose powder so uh, this was my powder that I used every day my color was medium deep and uh, I have finished it which for a loose powder is quite <laughs> quite a feat but um, yeah I really liked it I think it's very easy to use it doesn't have all of uh, it doesn't fly all over the place uh, for now I'm using the Fenty Beauty ones just because they are quite new in my in my uh, collection and for under the eye I'm using the Laura Mercier and uh, a Fenty Beauty one so I don't think I will buy any loose powder this year so that would have been it for uh, for for me for for Mac now I have three products from Max. So I'm going to save these because every time you have six empty packages, you're able to get a, a, a new uh, lipstick or an eyeshadow from Mac. So I think I'm going to get Mac Cosmo. It's a lip color that will be a dupe for um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So that is it for my empties. Um, I know I have been doing a lot of empties recently, but it's because I have also been very diligent about finishing some of the products that I have and using the same products all the time. I feel that I'm really going back to my personality, uh, being consistent with the things that I used to like before, and I really enjoy this. Um, so the next video is going to be me showing you my bathroom and uh, like my beauty corner, etc. And then the one after that is going to be my daily makeup and it will feature quite a few bits from Fenty Beauty because I have been loving it. I'm, look, I'm looking at it, I'm just like, so one of the best decisions recently. Uh, so that is it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.